Probably the most unique capability iDesigner Pro has is creating rhinestone patterns. iDesigner Pro has some very unique time-saving tools and features specifically designed for this application. Well, let's start with placing the rhinestones in a pattern. What you see on the screen is a design that we want to base the rhinestone pattern on. Now each rhinestone is represented by a circle. These circles will later be cut by our cutters on the rhinestone template material. Thus, when the holes are created, this is where the rhinestone will drop into each circle of the pattern. For the rest of this segment, we'll refer to each circle as a rhinestone or a rhinestone placement. What we'll first cover is how to place rhinestones along a path or a border, such as in the case of this heart. So let's first select the heart. Next is choosing the rhinestone function. Now there are several ways to get into the rhinestone function. Let's start with placing the rhinestones on the outline. First, always make sure that the outline function is activated and this is done by clicking on this check mark for outline. Select the element by clicking on the select elements button which will allow us to choose the size, the color, and the shape of the rhinestones that we want to use. When this window appears, on the left are different types of rhinestones that are somewhat standard. As you can see here, there's different sizes, starting from the largest to the smallest. We can also choose a different line of rhinestones, such as the Swarovski line of rhinestone shapes. But for our demonstrations, we'll just stick with the Graphtech line and select the SS10GR color. The next, after selecting the type of rhinestone, is to select the color we want, which we'll keep as purple. Now we just add the rhinestone by clicking the Add button. After that, we just click OK. And there we have our rhinestones on the outline of the heart. Now we can adjust the spacing from here. Now, of course, you may be experienced in creating rhinestone patterns and know about rhinestones and how they should fit so you may know the distance for the type of rhinestone that you will use if this is the case by all means then just enter the number in this field here but in this case what we'll do is we'll use these tiny up and down arrow keys to increase and lower the value or the distance between each rhinestone what this will do is allow us to see progressively what is visually best because as we increase it you'll see the rhinestones expand and contract depending on if we increase or decrease the value and we can keep doing this until we feel it looks just right or the way we want it now let's do something different by clicking the select elements button again we can now add other colors and sizes of stones as well this time we'll add a larger stone Let's say a SS16 will work for us, and we'll change the color to red to distinguish it from the other. Then we click Add, and then click OK. Now we've added a nice effect to our design. Now if we turn on the fills, we can really see the final results. Now let's turn the fills off. Now, when we're ready to cut the pattern, we'll go into the Cut Preview window. And here in the Cut Preview window, you'll notice that the only thing that's showing or that will cut are the rhinestones that we've created, and not the outlines or any object for that matter. And this time, we'll fill our shape with some rhinestones using the fill settings on the right-hand side of the Smart Bar. This time, we'll select the heart, the hand, and the rays that are surrounding the heart and fill all of those. Well, let's select our rhinestone button on our toolbar to get into the rhinestone settings. Of course, again, we should activate the fill by placing the check mark here. We'll choose the rhinestone size, and then after that, we'll make the adjustments. So let's go ahead and click Select Elements, this time on the right side under the fill section. This time we'll choose the size 10 rhinestone, SS10GR. We'll select a color, a red color. Then we'll click Add, and of course, OK. Now, in this section dealing with fill settings, we have this pull-down list of different fill patterns that we can choose. The first is a line pattern, which is the current setting that we see here. Then there's spiral center line spiral 
random grid and then staggered grid. Now you'll have to experiment with these patterns to see what fits best with the shape that you're trying to fill or outline. Well to add some interest, let's add some text at the bottom of the design. Now iDesigner Pro is supplied with several different single stroke fonts. Well, let's go over how to use them and why we would want to use them. First we click on the text tool and then click on an area in our current design. We'll put it right below the current objects that are on the screen. Now guidelines have been added to help us just to position the text. Now we can type our letters with the current font. Hit return, type in the second line. Now let's change it to a single stroke font. Press control A to select all the text. Now we can select the single stroke font. Now single stroke fonts are sometimes used for rhinestone purposes because they simplify the lettering, they simplify the pattern, making it easier to read on the t-shirt or fabric. All the single stroke fonts that are available are in the native VEF font format. So when you're going down this list of fonts, look for the V on the side of the font. In this case, we're going to be using the Dino font. Once we find it, double click on the font. And now we'll set the size of the font to approximately 1.3 inches. We'll center justify the text. And then we'll click on our selector tool to adjust the position. And now we're ready to place the rhinestones by clicking on the rhinestone fill in the rhinestone toolbar once again. Select the rhinestone size and color by clicking on the select elements button. We'll choose the 10 SS rhinestone size. We'll set the color to purple this time, and then we'll click Add. And then we'll finally click OK with the resulting rhinestones being shown in the workspace. Now we'll make some final adjustments to the spacing, and now we're ready to cut. For more information on any of the supplies and equipment that you've seen in today's video, please contact one of our BestBlanks.com sales professionals at 1-888-431-7385.